Hello everyone, and welcome to our first overclocking video. This time around, we'll be showing you how to unlock the true potential of your K-series Intel CPU. Today we are going to show you how you can overclock your CPU to over 5 GHz using our all-in-one liquid cooling solution. We are going to be using our flagship EKIO Elite 360 DRGB to cool an Intel i7-10700K planted on an ASUS ROG Maximus 12 Extreme motherboard. The primary benefit of overclocking is increasing your PC performance without the additional costs. You already bought your overclockable K-series CPU, so why not take full advantage of it? I will be doing an all-core overclock meant for beginners who have never overclocked before but would like to push their CPU a bit higher. The settings I'll be using were pre-tested for this exact CPU that we're using over here. Yours will probably need some tweaking, so we'll go over the settings that need adjustment. Before we proceed any further, we'll be needing monitoring software. Personally, I use hardware info, for which you can find the link in the description below. Now let's boot up the PC and start overclocking in BIOS. So now that we're in the BIOS, we need to enter the advanced BIOS settings. You can do that by pressing the F7 button on the keyboard. Next thing we'll be doing is removing all limits enforced by the motherboard, so we won't get bottlenecked by any caps. Before we proceed, we're going to set our AVX offset to zero. We would like to keep this guide short and simple as it is meant for beginners, so we won't go into depth regarding this setting as it requires extensive additional stability testing. Next thing we need to do is set the load line calibration setting to a medium setting. In our case, load line calibration level 4. Higher LLC settings can help with system stability, but also cause voltage overshoot, which can reduce the lifespan of our chip. We should also set the CPU current capability to its maximum, so we don't get bottlenecked. In our case, that's 140%. After we've done all of that, we need to decide on the targeted CPU frequency. We've pre-tested this system for 5.2 GHz, but you should start at around 5 GHz and work your way up from there. To input the targeted frequency, we need to adjust the CPU core ratio. In our case, we're doing an all-core overclock, so we're going to be syncing all cores and inputting the 52 multiplier. The 52 multiplier equals 5.2 GHz, so 50 multiplier would mean 5 GHz. Now the next thing we're going to do is adjust our voltage settings. First, we need to disable the base clock aware adaptive voltage, so it doesn't interfere with our manual overclock. Next, we'll adjust the CPU core voltage. First, we need to change it to manual mode. And then, we need to input the desired voltage. Anything below 1.4 volts is considered safe for these Intel chips. Our system was pre-tested to be stable at 5.2 GHz at 1.36 volts, but you shouldn't start your overclock here. A good starting point would be 5 GHz all-core overclock at 1.25 volts. You should stress test the system and once you have it stable at 5 GHz, you may increase the core clock to 5.1 GHz and repeat the process again by increasing the voltage in increments of 10 mV until the system is stable again. But remember, never exceed 1.4 volts. Last thing I want to mention is enable XMP profile. I've seen too many users buying fast memory and not taking advantage of it. Now let's save the BIOS settings and boot into Windows. Once we load into Windows, open the monitoring software and start stress testing the PC. Now let's put the system under load using one of the stress tests available. This time we'll be using Cinebench R20. Now let's look at the performance we've gained with this simple overclock. Have you picked your interest in overclocking? One of the best ways to do it is by utilizing liquid cooling. With our liquid cooled all-in-one solution, keep your temperatures low while squeezing the best performance out of your CPU. Incredibly quiet and reliable, our AIOs allow you to focus on taking your PC to the next level. Check out our entire selection to perfectly fit your needs and overclock with confidence. This is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and follow our social media channels. Like, subscribe and spread the word. Until next time.